Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy's Sweet Life and today I am tackling my baking station. I have really wanted to get this set up and I just haven't organized it and made it look pretty yet, so that's what we're working on today. I'm gonna go ahead and take you in and show you the before. Let's go ahead and open it up. It is just chaos in here. Some of them need to be refilled, but they all need to be labeled. And I think I'm going to um, just put some vinyl labels on here, maybe some small ones down here, actually on the etched glass part. I don't know how, how much they're gonna stick with that, but I've got, you know, doodads everywhere. This container's overflowing and not really organized. We've got some candy up there, some bowls that I can put other places. There is a bag up there of random junk stuff that I haven't even needed yet, like a pizza cutter and things. I also have some more canisters up there if I need them for anything. So I was going to go ahead and kind of organize this section. I want the canisters here, easy to grab baking stuff here, and then things I don't use as much um, up there at the top is what I'm thinking. Maybe the top two shelves. I'll have to play around with it a little bit. I already wiped everything out, but I went ahead and set everything out. I'm working on can canisters now. I have a list of things that I have labeled. Like I haven't used self-rising flour in a long time. I haven't needed it for anything. So I'm thinking about using this maybe for something else. I really don't know. I have some cornstarch over there that I've been using a lot. I thought I would put in one of these smaller ones. And a couple of these things I haven't used in forever, like the cornmeal and the coconut flour. I am sure they are both really old and I'm gonna just get rid of them. Um, and I also pulled a container out of this section. I do have some more of these like smaller ones that I can use for things, which I might pull those out as well. Um, this is like pantry staples, which is gonna be one of my next jobs to tackle. So I'm going to be working on storing this into things that I grab most often, like the vanilla and some of the sprinkles. And then I also have two more containers that I can use in here. So I think I will work on arranging my canisters first and then work on the other stuff. I'm gonna to try to put these somewhere else. For temporary labeling purposes, I'm gonna be using this wet erase pen, just writing on the top here. I know I can wipe that off really easily so that I can make nicer labels for the sides. I'm gonna get rid of these ones. I am taking an idea. I got this from Brittany uh, Vassar Beauty. So she used orange oil to remove the sticky. So I'm gonna try tangerine oil. Just got a little paper towel here to use with that because it's just, it is still sticky, so it's gonna be nasty if I don't get that off there. Well, that worked really, really well. So thank you, Brittany, for that tip. It looks perfect over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on taking off the other ones. Okay, progress update. I've got these canisters right where I want them. I'm gonna make labels and I'll walk you through everything when I'm done. Now I'm gonna work on dividing this container and the extra stuff into two containers. So I've got one that'll fit up there with the candy jar and then pastry flour, which I don't use all the time. So I have it up there. I'll, I can get it if I need it. These are the things I use most often. So I'll have one container sitting on that shelf of most used things, one on that shelf of things that I don't use as often. And that way it won't be so cluttered. I don't have to dig through the container. It'll make it really easy. So as I've worked, I have worked on my list of labels that I need to cut out. So now I just need to get one more container. I'm thinking about putting a little container here for the cookie cutters. So I was thinking also I would get another one of these white Y weave baskets and replace these two. These ones actually hold more things and these are a teeny tiny bit bigger, but they hold a lot more because of that lip. And you know, these ones kind of sink down, whereas these ones um, don't have that huge lip. And so if I put this one in, that basket will have to move down because there won't be enough room. There's just enough room right now for those three things up at the top. Okay, hopefully size-wise you can see the size difference. I ended up switching everything into that one and while it was a snug fit before in this bin, it was not a snug fit in the Y-Weave basket. So I'm gonna transfer everything and show you guys the difference. It makes a big difference. Voila, and so you see there's extra space in there where there wasn't in this container. So they're much, much bigger, even though they just look a teeny tiny bit bigger see they're much bigger this way as well which actually works fine in my cabinets all right i pulled that one out of my scrapbook room just for size comparison i think i'm going to have that one up there and here's the after i love 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 the labels i think they look beautiful it's going to be so much easier to keep track of everything so starting from the top i've got some extra canisters up there with an extra bag of all-purpose flour and an extra pancake mix Two of the boxes of pancake mix actually fit in here nicely. I wasn't sure a third one would quite fit. I didn't want it to be overfilled at the top, so I will stick with just getting two boxes in there. I have an extra one up there, and then the extra supplies, things we haven't really grabbed, things that go with my mandolin slice or a pizza cutter, things that it's nice to have, but not necessarily um, at everyday reach. 
And then up here, I've got the pastry flour. And this box is candy. And I just ended up getting Easter candy today. So it's chock full of Easter candy. And then up here is less frequently used items, extra baking cups, lots of sprinkles. I've got cream of tartar actually in the other one too, but these are extras. And then some extra sprinkles, some mint extract, lots of extra sprinkles and doodads, some lighters for candles. There's also a bag of candles in here somewhere down at the bottom. And then more sprinkles back there in nutritional yeast, which I use very, very seldom. So I didn't want to waste a canister for something that we don't use very often. Then in the next box that goes right there, I have more more frequently used things. I was able to make a little container for the mini muffin cups and also for the bigger muffin cups because I do tend to grab those every once in a while. I wanted them at easy reach. I also have some vanilla in here, some baking powder, ingredients that we need. Spices that I only use for baking, like pumpkin pie spice. Here's another cream of tartar, some marshmallows, some baking chocolates, um, some muffin mixes, a can of pumpkin back there, and then this is graham cracker crumbs in here. So these are just ingredients that I only use for baking, and I like to have them at easy reach, but I don't necessarily want everything in canisters, so it's good to be able to hide some stuff in here. Then up here is just cookie cutters. So I like being able to have those at easy reach because I like to make Olivia little shaped sandwiches. Over here, I just filled the M&Ms back up. So I've got a peanut butter M&Ms in the front and then a plain M&Ms back there. And then the canisters. So I've got all purpose flour, pancake mix, sugar, brown sugar, powdered sugar. I thought it would be nice to have the sugars all in the same size things. And then some little ingredients here, chocolate chips, cocoa powder, and then cornstarch. I just love, love, love the way the canisters look. I think they're beautiful, and I love the two-tiered effect I got with the larger ones back there, the smaller ones back here, and I am just ready to bake now. It ended up being a two-day project. I did the labels today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick before and after. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.